When Carrie Lam landed Hong Kong's top job in 2017, she promised she would protect the territory's core values. Hong Kong's first female leader spoke of an independent judiciary, of respect for human rights, and vowed to listen to the city's youth. Hong Kong, our home, is suffering from quite a serious divisiveness and has accumulated a lot of frustrations. My priority will be to heal the divide. Two years later, and concern over Hong Kong's independence is reaching its peak. Anger over China's increasing influence has sent hundreds of thousands into the city's streets, and Lam is now their main target. It was her push to fast-track a controversial extradition bill this spring that sunk her approval ratings to record lows. Yet from the get-go, she was loathed by pro-democracy camps. They knew her as a deputy to Xi Wai Leung, her hugely unpopular predecessor, who governed during the pro-democracy umbrella movement in 2014. Despite a civil service career spanning decades, Lam was labeled a Beijing stooge as soon as she took over. This after she was placed in office by a committee led by pro-Beijing elites. Her reputation was cemented this spring by the proposed extradition bill. People say I betrayed Hong Kong. How have I betrayed Hong Kong? I was born and raised here. I grew up together with the Hong Kong people. I made a lot of personal sacrifices. In mid-June, Lam partially conceded, suspending the extradition bill indefinitely and issuing a public apology. But that didn't stop record numbers from taking to the streets the next day, redoubling their demands for her to step down.